Hello everyone, this is Raz. Welcome to my channel again. In this video, uh, I'm going to explain a little bit different topic but very much useful for us, okay? So, I'm going to talk briefly about the predatory journals, publishers, conferences, awards, and job vacancies, okay? So, first of all, let's understand what you mean by predatory, okay? So when you search the internet, the meaning of predatory, this means, so one of the meaning is uh, preying naturally on others and another meaning is seeking to exploit others, okay? So there are certain journals or certain institutions or certain people that try to make money by making false claims, okay? So they are always... Uh, they are always greedy in nature so they they make a lot of money and then many people become the victim of uh, such kind of uh, journals or websites or such kind of institutions or advertisements okay so i'll be talking briefly about this kind of uh, journals publishers conferences awards and job vacancies even some of the awards okay they, they send you an email that okay you are getting this kind of award and then if you pay this this much amount of money then we'll give you this award and something like that even the conferences so they might send you an email uh, a random email that uh, your article got selected for the conference or they want to they want you to participate in that conference uh, okay so even some of the job vacancies okay you can see the job vacancies in the internet or maybe in the newspaper and then when you apply for it then they ask uh, for money and you may not even get the job at the end okay so there are several examples even me myself i have become victim of several this kind of journals publishers even conferences awards and job vacancies so some of these are based on my own experiences and some are based on the literature review so let me go one by one okay so first of all let me talk about the journals and publishers so what are predatory journals okay so this kind of journals they claim to publish papers in few hours or days and there is no mention of the clear peer review policy okay there is no any clear contact information of the journal publisher such as contact address email or website similarly the past issues of the journal are not regular and the editorial board also looks suspicious okay so when you look at the qualification of the members of the editorial board and then when you search their profile in the internet then it sounds like they they do not exist in reality and sometimes what happens is that even the uh, even the member in the editorial board even they themselves don't know that they are the members okay so i have faced some of the situations in which uh, some of the journals put my name in the editorial board and even i didn't know that okay similarly some of the journals may not be a member of scientific body okay such as doaj or COPE or OASPA or STM these are the scientific bodies or agencies or associations to which the journals are registered or the journals get the membership okay there are several other members these are the several other agencies these are just the sample names okay so you can check in the internet on the scientific body for membership of the journals similarly some of the predatory journals they just claim to be indexed in google scholar or research guide okay so remember that google scholar does not uh, uh, it doesn't guarantee the quality of the journal because it does the automatic crawling of the articles regardless of the journal quality so it's the feature of google scholar that it automatically indexes the articles in the jar uh, from the journals regardless of the journal quality and in research gate you can manually add the article so there is no any authenticity authenticity of the publishers okay so you have to always check the internet to see if the journal you suspect is predatory so so how to do that you just go to google okay and then so you can type predatory journals okay so predatory sorry predatory journals so there are the list of predatory journals published by predatoryjournals.com and then there is also Bill's list of predatory journals okay so you can see the Wikipedia criteria for that so there are several <coughs> sorry there are several ways to spot the predatory journal so we can check the internet but the basic criteria are uh, explained by me there 
Similarly, there are some people become victim of predatory meetings or conferences. So last week I was uh, sitting in my office and then I got a, a random email from one, one person uh, that they want me to participate in a conference and then publish my paper. They pulled my paper from the internet. Okay, uh, sometimes what happens is that uh, we might see uh, some of the advertisements of these meetings and conferences in the websites and then we may apply and then there may be notification of rapid acceptance of the papers being submitted, okay, within few days without being peer reviewed, okay. Similarly, you don't see any clear meeting venue. You see that it's being held in Singapore or Paris or New Delhi or maybe Washington, but there is no any clear venue on uh, which particular hotel or which particular institution uh, or uh, which particular place within that particular city and the organizers are also not clearly mentioned in case of the predatory meetings. If you see the genuine conferences and meetings, the organizers are, uh, the organizers are usually mentioned clearly but in case of predatory meetings, the organizers are not clearly mentioned. Okay. And uh, you, you should also check the previous year conferences with the same name. Okay, So if you see that okay, the new conferences are being held. Uh, some of them may be genuine, but one, one, one of the criteria is also to look at the previous year conferences with the same name, okay? And also there is high attendance fee, and even uh, they might offer you heavy discounts and waivers, and then when you tell them you can't pay, but it's still they might ask for a certain fee for booking the seat or something like that. So, so uh, and also they, they don't allow you to withdraw or resign, and it's a very tedious process and then uh, they have that kind of mechanism that that it doesn't allow you to withdraw from that from that meeting or conference so that is also another feature of predatory meeting or conference and also the name of that meeting or conference looks copied or mimicked or it looks similar from the popular genuine conference so sometimes what happens is that our eyes uh, uh, they might they might get distraction okay so we might feel like oh okay this is the genuine uh, conference I, I have heard about it earlier but 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 you should always be careful about the exact letters or words being used in the conference name okay so it may be uh, copied or mimicked from the genuine conference names and also you should check internet regularly to see if any meetings or conferences predatory in the same way that I showed you for checking the journals or publishers Similarly, predated awards, okay, this is another thing. Uh, um, sometimes what happens is that we, we might be fond of getting awards so because everyone uh, uh, loves being awarded, right? So it's the, it's the nature of human being that you feel good when you get an award. So, so what happens is that you get a random email from an organization that doesn't have proper address and contact information and just says that, okay, we have looked in your... <coughs> Um, in your publication profile and then we see that this uh, this article is uh, eligible for a certain award so you can apply for that award or something like that so they usually use a free email accounts like Yahoo or Gmail instead of the organizational email address the same thing applies for um, the predatory conferences okay similarly the award titles looks a little funny for example a world-class award for outstanding research or something like that so the award title looks something funny and 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 then the uh, suspicious or it cont contains too much flattery, okay? Similarly, the registration fee is high. So because the real awards do not ask for the registration fee, usually, because the real, the real awards, they give awards to the recipient or, or the deserving, uh, deserving candidates without any fee. So, so, so if the registration fee is high and if they ask you to pay a large amount of money for the award, then that might be a predatory award, okay? And also they, they name one of your research papers to communicate with you and then they flatter you and, and but but you you should always look if your article is too much ordinary or outdated, okay? So also you should check internet reviews as well as other so social media profiles, their updates and ratings to evaluate the quality and authenticity of awards, okay? So this is another uh, important criteria. Sometimes what happens is that the organizers uh, or the people being involved in in this kind of predatory awards and predatory journals they have become clever day by day so they have always found out new ways to make people victim of their uh, of their um, bad motive okay so they might even have opened the linkedin profile or something like that but always uh, having a linkedin profile or research get profile is not sufficient you have to check within those profiles 
their history, their, their employment history, their publications, their addresses, the, the location of the institution that they're working in and everything. So, so it's always good to check the internet regularly. So similarly, this is another thing that people often ignore because we, we always uh, know that there are, there are scarcity of jobs in the world. The, the production of the human resources is increasing day by day, but the job vacancies, um, you don't see so many jobs to fit, uh, to, to meet the requirement of the produced human resources. So there is always a gap in production and utilization of human resources. So there might be predatory job vacancies. I myself have become a victim of this kind of job vacancy when I was in the USA. So I had applied for a job uh, through uh, internet, uh, um, so there was one um, one internet site through which you can apply for the job, and and then later I found that um, the job is a fake one. Okay, so I nearly lost hundreds of dollars uh, just applying for that job. Okay, so what happens? What happens is that they they usually contact you out of nowhere, and sometimes they announce the vacancies to make you fall in trap. And then the pay mentioned in there is great, okay? So so you sometimes don't believe in yourself, okay? But so do I really deserve that amount of payment, okay? So this is too high uh, based on my qualification. So you get the notification that you have got the job right away. So how, how did this happen, right? And also you get unprofessional emails and the website doesn't exist of that company. And then if it exists, it doesn't have the detailed contact of the office. and. You can see the errors in writing, punctuation, and sometimes the bulk is copied from the internet. So you should always check the content of the email uh, to see if it is borrowed from somewhere else in the, in the internet. I did the right thing in the right time. Okay, so what happens? What happened is that I got an email that I got selected for the job. Then I copied and pasted that email content in internet, and then I found that that has been a scam running for several years in the USA guys I was in Atlanta USA okay so I nearly uh, fell into trap and then what happens is that the email signature also looks suspicious okay so there is no detailed address or telephone number or email address of the person and then what happens is that the interview is via emails or SMS rather than video calls or face-to-face -face interviews <clears throat> so this is another feature of predatory job vacancies so uh, this is it guys so uh, what to do when you encounter some so you either ignore it completely or if you feel that you have been <clears throat> the victim of it you can report it to the police or, or certain agencies uh, that take care of it okay so the first thing is to prevent but it's still if, if if you have lost your money or if you find that if you feel that okay you have to report it then you can do that either so this is it guys, if you, if you like this video, uh, please share it with your colleagues because this is a really important one uh, because in this modern scientific age, we always want to go forward, we, we always want promotion, uh, high, um, high payment, okay, good job, good salary, and then a lot of publications, but always we should be careful on whether we are doing it in the proper way uh, for the proper institution publishing our pro, uh, uh, papers in the right journals or something like that so this is it guys so in the in the next video i'll be coming up with uh, new topics so uh, this is a little bit uh, different topics than i usually deal with but still i feel that this, this needs to be uh, this needs to be clear among uh, among the researchers and also those who are aspiring to become a good researcher in the future the students even uh, high class uh, people, even the top professors, top scientists have become victim of the predatory conferences, awards and journals, okay? So that's it. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye. Cheers. Thank you.